I'm Donna Blanchard, and this is your Think Tech Daily News for Wednesday, May 27th, 2015. Attorney General Loretta Lynch held a press conference today with representatives from the FBI and IRS to announce that top officials with FIFA, the agency that governs international soccer, are being indicted for racketeering, wire fraud, and money laundering conspiracy. In addition to the charges against 14 senior officials, sports marketing executives from the U.S. and South America are accused of paying more than $150 million in bribes and kickbacks in exchange for media deals associated with major soccer tournaments. The schemes conducted include the selection of South Africa as the host of the 2010 World Cup and the 2011 FIFA presidential elections. One soccer official took in more than $10 million in bribes. This investigation continues, and James Comey, director of the FBI, said the government is pursuing a very aggressive prosecutorial response in order to change behavior. American and Allied warplanes are equipped with the most precise aer aerial ar arsenal manufactured, but are not striking significant and obvious Islamic State targets. President Obama stated last week that we are not fighting this war for the Iraqis. The White House is also concerned that if any civilians are injured from our airstrikes, it will give ISIS powerful fodder for propaganda against the U.S. support and alienate the local Sunni tribesmen whose support is critical to stopping the militants. Civilian deaths from American airstrikes during the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan caused a great deal of negative feelings for U.S. efforts there. While ISIS has taken over Ramadi and the Enbar province, the current administration is being very careful to avoid civilian injuries and has been forthcoming in reports of accidental injuries and deaths of civilians. Texas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana have been inundated with storms and flooding that have killed at least 19 people, and more storms are on the way. On Monday night and Tuesday, flash floods swept away trees and homes. Roads were covered in muddy water, and cars and trucks are scattered about as motorists had no choice but to abandon them. Though people have been heading to work today, it's slow going, and people living near Padera Lake, southwest of Dallas, have been warned that the dam there is likely to fail, as it was already compromised. City officials there are advising people living downstream of the lake to evacuate and are making plans to divert traffic around highways that might be flooded. Volunteers are organizing to search for victims and begin the task of cleaning. The UN is reporting some very good news today, despite the fact that our population continues to rise. About 200 million fewer people are hungry today than in 1990. According to the United Nations Annual Hunger Report, published by the Food and Agricultural Organization, the International Fund for Agricultural Development, and the World Food Program, the report attributed the hunger reduction in part to stable political conditions and economic growth in many countries. Progress was most pronounced in East Asia, Southeast and Central Asia, Latin America, and the Caribbean. Parts of Africa suffering from extreme weather events, natural disasters, political instability, and civil strife are still suffering. Not to paint too rosy a picture here in lieu of reality, the reduction in hunger, uh, hungry people is from 1 billion to 795 million. So there are still almost 800 million people in this world who experience hunger on a level that you and I cannot realistically imagine. The Director General of the Food uh, and Agriculture Organization, Jose Graziano da Silva, whose name is really fun to say, said, this shows us that we can indeed eliminate the scourge of hunger in our lifetime. Go, Jose Graziano da Silva, go. Ahui ho, everyone. Donna Blanchard, Think Tech Daily News.